So in this video, we're gonna look at the 2.1 firmware for the Deluge. We're gonna look at the waveform view. So what we're gonna do first, we have a new track here. We're gonna create a new synth preset, shift synth. We're gonna load single cycle waveform here, just so you can see how it looks. So hold down shift, three buttons down. It's gonna load the first oscillator to browse. Uh, it says bot to top. That just means we're gonna fill all the notes. So just press the button down since we're just using single cycle waves. We're going to my waveform folder here. There's tons of folders here, so I'm just gonna choose one. And as you can see, we have a low resolution waveform. It shows, it looks to be a little bit of anti-aliasing going on, so it's really neat. You can also zoom in and scroll as well. And we also can hear a little click of that single cycle. And this just keeps going. I mean, there's a lot of these. Let's just pick this one, press down the knob, then we can listen to it. Okay, let's say you wanna change it, just press it again and then choose a different waveform. Now, if we wanna enter the waveform view for this wave, if I hold down shift, you have the start and the end. So I'm gonna go start. So this cursor indicates the start of whenever we press something. So as you can see, it's playing through. That's the end of the loop and it's going back around from there. What you can do as well is you can actually change where the start is. Okay, now if we want to work from the other side here, works the same way. You can also zoom in. Now when we zoom in, it increases the resolution, so if you gotta get in really close, you definitely can. So I'm gonna zoom out here. Let's choose the green one. Let's bring it in. See how close we can get. Okay, so there's also the start loop point. If you hold this down and you bring it out, like pulls it out of there. There's the start loop point. In other words, after it plays through, it loops back to here and then it goes back. You barely see it go through this first part because uh, it's just a single cycle. And also this has an end loop point. So in other words, it's gonna go loop and then it'll go from here to here as long as you hold it down. And we can also move those in closer and so on. Okay, so let's say we want this to go away, hold it down and then it's almost like putting it back away into the green one. So again, you hold the green, take it out, press this, put it back. And that works the same for this one too. So we can bring it over here. You can just put it away and take it out. So where else is this useful? Well, we're gonna go into a kit here. So we're gonna create a new kit. We're gonna go back here. So what I'm gonna do is go to my resample directory. I'm gonna access something I had resampled earlier. Okay, so I have this sample, and what I want to do is slice it. So shift, and we press this, and then it's giving me 16 slices. Actually, I'll make that eight slices. So what that's gonna do once I press that button down is it's created that all across these. Okay, so all these are playing, but they're not stopping when I release. And what I wanna do is change all of these to the cut mode. So to change modes, just shift, and then all the way down here, just press that button. It says once, and what that means is all of them are set to once. So what I'm gonna do is hold down effect entire and turn this to cut. Now what that just did was it applied cut to every single one of these slices. Okay, so that's what we want. And now what we can do is, again, shift, and we can either go to the start wave or the end wave. And now we see everything's over here and we see this long wave. Well, that's because I had this cut up into eight slices. So this is slice one, and we can't change to the other slices. We can audition this one. We can see what it's doing, but I can't go and do the other ones here. So if you wanna go back, okay, then switch to say this one, 
then go in the menu. And you can see there's that slice. So when we wanna work on this, what we can do, exit back, we're gonna to go to this first one and let's just play it so we can hear. So let's say I want this to start right here instead. And then the end part, we want it to be right here, for example. Okay, so that's gonna be the first step. We're gonna go to the next one here. Let's say I want this to start over here. And then that's gonna be right here. Okay, so what I wanna do for this one, let's just actually loop that from like here to here. So hold that down, add that first loop section, and we can see what happens. So let's say we're working on a waveform loop here uh, and we have the loop points and the end point, but we don't see the start point anywhere. Let's say it's maybe at the beginning of the waveform here. So if we just wanna use it, again, shift and then beginning, and then we just press here and there it is because it selected it. Same thing with the end, shift and then this one, and we select that. So what's really cool about this is while you're working on this sample edit, you can also change the effects while you're working on it. That's the other sample. So you can play the other samples, but while we're working in this one, we can only change the effects for this one that we're on. What we can do is mold each slice in its own effects. Just keep that in mind when you're working on samples that you can change those effects per sample. Uh, make sure if you're gonna be doing that, you'd have to turn off effect entire because if it's on, all the effects are gonna be manipulated every single sample.